everyone, how are you guys today? I am overjoyed, honestly. My body is filled with happy, happy, happy thoughts. I can't believe that I'm finally building an exhibit for the Torbosaurus. It felt like it took forever for the Cretaceous Predator pack to be released, but the day has finally come. That was yesterday, by the way. And now I can finally build an exhibit for the Tarbo. And honestly, I was already having ideas for what to do with the Tarbosaurus exhibit ever since the Cretaceous Predator pack was announced. Uh, it was announced when it was. Uh, it released on 30, and that was a Thursday. Uh, it was announced on Monday, the week before. Saturday? I don't remember. But the day the Cretaceous Predator pack was announced was the day I started having ideas of what to do with the Tarbo. And honestly, this exhibit is a, a mix of several different attractions. I took inspiration from the Tyrannosaurus Rex Kingdom, from Jurassic World, obviously, since Tarbosaurus is a Tyrannosaur. But I also took inspiration from the Camp Cretaceous Hidden Adventure interactive episode. There is that one ride in the Hidden Adventure where the campers go on this uh, automated jeep that circles around somewhere and there, uh, there are some animatronics dinosaurs that come out uh, here and there. And then that's when the Tarbosaurus jumps out and attacks them. I had an idea for the Tarbosaurus exhibit. I used the Jurassic tour to circle through the Tarbo exhibit, kind of like imitating that attraction from Hidden Adventure. Uh, you'll see later on on the video what I'm telling you, but basically there is this tour next to the exhibit. That tour goes inside the Tarbo, the Tarbo enclosure, and it doesn't necessarily circle the entirety of the perimeter of the enclosure. It comes out and it's very close to the fence and then it circles around and goes back. I added a lot of rocks to act as a natural division between the tour track and the Tarbos exhibit. Let's just pretend that there are some sensors in those rocks and the Tarbo can't cross them because they have, let's say, a biasin chip on their brains and that chip will send them signals to go back if they come too close, so that's why they avoid it. Using the invisible fences is also an option, but uh, I can't, I'm an old console player, uh, if you don't know that already. One day I'll buy myself a PlayStation 5, you just wait for it. But not now, I can't, <laughs> unfortunately. Using the Bison Invisible Fence is also an option. I personally don't like the Invisible Fence. It's not that I uh, don't like it. It's, it's weird to have that metal thing, you know, in the middle of something. Uh, the, the Invisible Fence doesn't blend in that good with the environment. That's what I'm trying to say, unless you hide the invisible fence in water, it will look a bit weird. But since I'm an old console player, I can't use the invisible fences unless I'm playing in the Biosyn genetic buildings, so I opted for the tiny rocks surrounding the path. I think it looked nice, it felt as natural as it could get. I mean, obviously it's not natural to have a bunch of rocks perfectly aligned, but oh well. I used three Tarbosaurus in this exhibit. One of them is the Camp Cretaceous Accurate. The other two, I don't remember, it's uh, Yukon River with Rana. That is the combination of skin and pattern that we see on the trailers, by the way. The uh, dark blue Tarbosaurus skins with the, the dark spots over its body. I don't remember the other one. I think it's a, uh, it's a desert skin. Anyway, 
The skin combinations will be on the video description down below. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Don't you forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Tomorrow I'm building an exhibit for... Uh, it's for the concavenator. I wish it was for the Uteraptor. Uteraptor is on... Uh, I'm building one for the Uteraptor on Sunday, but Saturday is concavenator day. Again, if you want to know which skin color and pattern combination that I'm using for the Tarbo, they will be in the video description down below. So again, you enjoy the video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. And don't you forget to enjoy the Cretaceous Predator Pack.